Hey everyone, this is Evgeny and we are back in Fast API Plus Long Graph series. So today my plan would be to show you how you can create React agent uh, using MCP tools. So everything will be packed as a Long Graph agent and then will be reused in the Fast API application. So join me and let's take a look at that together. Well, traditionally, before we continue, I wanted to mention that this video is supervised, is highly, extremely highly supervised by angry cats. And if you're curious what are those, if you haven't checked it yet, then check the link, the merge is there. And we're proceeding. Okay, as I mentioned, today we're gonna check how we can run our React agent in a scope of Fast API. So as a standalone application driven fully by Fast API framework and uh, I think the good way to start here would be to start from Python notebook so we can check different components in isolation, check that everything works, then try to combine them together and then uh, just see the result and when everything is ready then we would just move this as an agent and enable it with fast API. So here we are, here's my notebook I prepared already and let's take a look at that together. So since we are working with MCP tools, we need to have a way how to load the MCP configuration and we are trying to load it from this JSON, the standard uh, format for MCP servers. And here we have the JSON already somewhere. And it's here in config folder. So if we take a look at that, uh, we can see that I have configured single server, it's GitHub MCP. And it's run through Docker. We have a Docker image which was prepared already. I'm providing my GitHub personal access key and you need to define your own if you want to repeat this lesson. And we are going back to the Python notebook. So what do we do here? We are loading the JSON configuration, first step. Uh, we define a function for that and uh, let's just do it. So we can see exactly the same thing like from JSON. And then having this configuration, we can start loading real tools from MCP. And for that, we are using a multi-server MCP client. This is from MCP adapters client. So what we are doing, uh, we are loading the configuration, the previously one that we loaded already. Uh, we're taking it and we load the MCP server based on the parameters. And once we have it, we have a list of MCP tools and we are just uh, for double checking we enumerate how many tools we loaded. So let's do this. Okay, 73 tools and uh, this is correct. And now we have to create an agent with MCP tools. So we are using for that create rake agents from high level API from pre-built. Here we're defining the model. So this is for all mini. We are defining a very simple prompt, which is to you are a GitHub assistant who helps user to manage their repositories and workflows. And we are providing tools as MCP tools that we just loaded, right? And finally, we're just drawing the agent diagram so we can check how it looks like. Okay, so far so good. We have this classical React agent, reasoning acting agent. So it has the reasoning node, it has tools which are MCP at the moment. And maybe let's make it a bit more complicated. We have tools, but let's create human in the loop cycle. So for the, for the demonstration purposes, it will be very simple. So each tool will be wrapped in human in the loop. So before running every tool, the agent would stop and ask us for approval. And we're doing this using the wrapper function and uh, can check the uh, long graph advanced series where we are going into details, how this thing works. But in general, what happens here, we have a function. Uh, it's a decorator kind of, it takes the tool itself. And then what happens there, we are interrupting the graph immediately, providing some details about tool name and arguments. And if the tool was uh, approved, like here, then we invoke the main tool. Otherwise, we are just rejecting, we are returning a message back that it was canceled by human, allowing LLM to think about that and process next steps, right? And having this tool as a wrapper, we are going to wrap all the MCP tools we have currently. And we should have back the same 72, uh, 73 wrapped tools. And now it's time to create another wrapped agent, so the, the one that uses the tools with human in the loop. And the rest is exactly the same and the diagram will be exactly the same. Here we are. 
And I think now we can give it a try and test in the Python notebook. So we can, let, let's define some basic stuff first, like the function which would print us the details of approval. And then we can start our testing. So what we are doing here, uh, we have our agent and uh, we run it with a single message which says that I would like to check my account on GitHub. So uh, I want to understand what I was working on and so on and so forth. And uh, I'm invoking the agent, and since this is MCP tools, so everything happens in asynchronous mode, we need to use this asynchronous method. And we just simply run it. And here we are, we have the result of getting me a tool call made, uh, some data about myself, and then again it stopped on list notifications because, well, this time it decided to grab some information about notifications from the uh, my repository probably from my account but you get the idea right before each tool we made a call for uh, approval and then if you want this tool to be executed you have to approve it or cancel it so this is the idea and this is the graph kind of in components and that one we are going to create under our first API so which way we are doing this First of all, we define our graph itself, so I'm just copy pasted all these pieces into the single one and name it MCP agent. And if we quickly go through it, you can see exactly the same code. So we have the lo uh, load MCP servers here, we have this approval function as well. Then we have some cached tools and check pointers, and this one is crucial because we're going to run several requests. And basically, uh, I will show you later how it works. We do have uh, get MCP tools with HIDL, with human in the looks icon. This is a sync function. And this one is reusing cached tools, like we have cached tools, so we don't need to uh, load the tools from MCP each time we have it. And so if tools were cached before, then we return them. If not, that this is the first time we should grab the tools. And what happens here, we are grabbing the MCP service JSON configuration, the one you saw already. We load MCP servers, we create a client, we load in MCP tools, and we are wrapping all the tools with our tools with human in the loop cycle. We save it as a cache and returning it back. And we have a function get agent, and this one is uh, more or less the same, right? Uh, so what's the difference here? First of all, we are creating, well, in general, each call, we are going to ask for an agent from fast API. And we're going to create this agent each time the tool, uh, the call is made, the HTTP call is made. So we are creating the agent each time, and this is kind of normal situation. It's pretty lightweight agents that are being created. Uh, it's pretty normal practice that you create agents for your specific task each time. But the crucial point here is that uh, the check pointer, because if you're going to continue your conversation with the agent, you have to keep a short-term memory across several HTTP requests in Fast API. So for that, you need to keep the same check pointer. And here we are. So that's why we have check pointer as a cached thing. And we are sharing it here. And again, the agent is uh, created each time. The check pointer is shared thing. We cache it. And tools, because it takes time to load tool all the time from remote server, we cache tools as well. So this is what happens here. And we return the agent back. And having this agent, MCP agent definition, we can start working on fast API. So what do we have here? Let's take a look. Well, practically, we, uh, we are going the same blocked, uh, not blocked by, uh, not streaming way. And the same thing as the first lesson, we are defining two endpoints for the start in the graph and for approving the tool. So what's happening here, we, we are starting a new thread, we are uh, creating the input data containing from the user's message, user request, and we uh, run the agent, run or resume the agent. This is the same function which we are using both in both cases, right? And for approval the same, we are just grabbing the thread ID so we know which dialog this is about, right? And then we are also from the user request, we are fetching the information if the tool was approved or not. And our input data, like here it was a list of messages, and here input data is a comment for resuming the graph. And then we are running the graph again. And this function probably should be aware of that already, right? What happens here, we are, uh, first of all, we are getting the agent, and again, each time the agent will be created, but with cached tools and cached uh, short-term memory. 
Then we invoke our agent, and since we are, I mentioned that already, we are talking about MCP tools, this is a synchronous invocation, so we are using this A invoke method instead of just plain invoke. And having back the response, we are checking if the interruption happened, then OK, we are generating some message back to the client from our fast API and returning it back. Or if uh, the graph finished, we are just returning the latest message from the message queue because this is the response from our graph, like the, the result of the work. And practically that's it, right? So we have two new rotors. We have the function which is responsible for running or resuming the graph. And then finally what we are doing, we are injecting or enabling this route in our global application. Well, practically that's it. We can give it a try and uh, see how it works. And for that, if you're gonna check it on your own or repeat some steps in the lesson, there's a readme where you can use it. So what we have to do here, we have to run our server first, this line. So we start the server, it's uh, localhost 8000 and application is ready for accepting our requests. And then just let me go through the quick test I prepared for you, this one. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to start a new request. And this time I'm going to make it a bit shorter because like just to finish our small example. So here we have a post request for starting the graph and this is MCP start. And the crucial point is human request. So I'm asking provide information about my account on GitHub. And my expectation would be that this is a real uh, get me to call and that's it. That, that should be enough, right? So I'm just copy pasting this one. And look at that. We have uh, the response. We have a thread ID back here. The run status is user feedback. And assistant response is I want to call the tool get me with no arguments. And this is uh, at this point I have to either accept the tool execution or to refuse it. And this time I'm going to approve it. So what I'm doing here, I'm making a call to MCP approve. Uh, the request body is thread ID. I need to point to a specific thread and approve action is approved. All right. And thread ID I'm taking from the previous response. And look at that. This is the response from our agent, and it says that run status is finished. Okay, we still have the thread ID, and we have assistant response. Here's the information about your GitHub account, and it provides some information that I asked for. And the same thing, we can try to cancel the tool call. So let's give it a try again. The same kind of request, but I'm starting a new thread. So this is create a new GitHub. Ah, this is a different one. Sorry, I forgot. Create a new GitHub repository with the name LangGraph MCP. And uh, the URL here is MCP start. So I'm going to start a new thread, a new agents conversation. And again, back I have thread ID. I have run status user feedback as needed. And assistant response is, I want to call the tool create repository this time with arguments name LangGraph MCP. Okay, and this time, well, I don't need this repository. I don't want to pollute my uh, GitHub account, so I want to cancel it. And for that, I make another call for tool approval. I'm providing the same, the new thread ID. But this time, my action, approve action is rejected. And I'm just running it. And look at that, the status is finished again, and the response is, it seems the attempt to create a repository was canceled. If you want to proceed with creation of a repository named LangGraph MCP, please let me know if you have any specific preferences. Such as making it private, adding a description, initializing to readme. So this is it, right? Practically, uh, you can use this thread ID to continue the conversation and ask again, no, 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 I changed my mind, please create a repository. And at this time, you'll have back another tool approval for create repository like this one. And the next cycle, you might want to say yes, and the repository will be created. All right, this is it for the video. And I hope you found something new and you've learned something new 
about line graph, about how to run your React agent in a fast API, how to reuse your AMCP tools, and now you know much more about this stuff. And it was me, Evgeny, thanks a lot for sticking with me till the end. I really, really appreciate it. And well, we'll see each other in the next time, in the next videos. Thank you, take care and bye-bye.